So moving on to She-Hulk. Um, I liked She-Hulk. It was really fun. It was very entertaining. Uh, it was um, it was funny without being forceful, like Multiverse of Madness and Love and Thunder was for me personally. Um, I never have been someone who has noticed or disliked the MCU style of comedy that people talk about a lot of the time. It wasn't until these two films, Multiverse of Madness and Thor: Love and Thunder, that I really noticed it, and we're, and we're like, okay, I see what people are talking about, and it's annoying. Um, yeah, mostly because. Of you know how poorly those two films were written. It, those those the bad jokes stick out like sore thumbs. Um, but yeah, um, it was great to get more Bruce um, touching on the horrors of being a Hulk again um, by projecting his experiences onto Jennifer. Um, and uh, I think uh, Tatiana, um, I cannot pronounce her last name, and I forgot to type it up. So um, I think that she is uh, delivering a great performance so far, and that uh, it. It um, it, you can feel that she's having fun in the role, and you know I think that's always a good thing. Um, and I'm once again hoping that this show sticks the landing. Every single one of these shows, except um Loki, I feel like started strong but ended ended up stumbling along the way. Whereas Loki, I feel like, um, it started okay for me, and then it got stronger as it went on. Um, so how do you feel about Shield? It was not my cup of tea. I didn't find it funny much at all, and I thought the ending fight was really weird. Oh, and I hated I that thought fight. That, that, that fight was, like, actually ridiculous, and I thought that Hulk kind of acted out of character for me, and that they just kept getting unreasonably irritated with each other over the most minor things that real-life people wouldn't get irritated with each other for, yeah, and it what? just... It wasn't, it wasn't really... It like wasn't what? for me, personally. What stuff did he get? Oh, like every was? single time, every single time Jen like showed him up during something and then he'd get irritated and then she'd get irritated in response and then she'd get irritated and then he'd get irritated in response. It was just back and forth, back and forth. It's my biggest complaint with Cobra Kai where I'm like everything in Cobra Kai would be solved if everyone just like took a breather for a second. And that's just kind of what I kept feeling in this show where I'm like 90% of the conflict between these two doesn't need to be a thing and realistically probably would not be a thing and it just kept going on and on and on and on and it just wasn't my cup of tea i think that their problems made sense he was upset that she was getting through it easier than he was because he had to deal with it for 15 years and he has there's a lot of she said it herself this guy has not gone to therapy he's dealt with all of this himself he's he's not a, he's not the most I'm not going to say sane. He's not the most mentally sound person. He can control it better. He's fused the personas, but he still has that anger and he still, he hasn't talked to a professional about these things. He is going through a lot and he's seeing her just breeze through it and going, I spent 10 years being a monster and she's just, this is easy for her. It's light work. I, I understood why he got upset. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like me personally, it, I just didn't find it very believable, like at all, that they were getting irritated with each other over stuff like this. But I don't know. I was already just kind of watching this for Daredevil, and I'm just gonna stick through it until he shows up. That's fair. 